Hello and welcome to a rainy day in Germany. I'm at Reismobil Hartmann in Lünen near Dortmund. This is a Dreamer vehicle. This uh, dealership has uh, some brands of Rapido and uh, the others being Iteneo and uh, Fleurette. This vehicle here, D68, Limited Select or Select Limited is 636 centimeters in length and 205 in width and on a Fiat Ducato basis. And I'm closing the door behind me because it's cold outside. And let's have a, a look around to start off with. Now this thing here is gonna cost on 55,000 euros in this condition. So, uh, first thing that stands out is it's very nicely finished with all this lighting. And uh, let's come down to the back and take a look at this. Lengthwise beds, in the, uh, the blurb about it, it says it sleeps three. Presumably two in the bed and one on the floor. Um, that's what I presume. And uh, it's got this very nice... Uh, the um, storage all the way around and I'd point out that it uses at the back to the end. That's pretty good really because there's lots of um, companies that don't use the corners and when you're in a van 636 by 205 well it's less than 12 square meters because you've got to knock off something for the engine and uh, so there's not a huge amount of space so from that point of view uh, that's uh, that's quite good um, the beds here are joined you can unjoin them if you want you can take this out and uh, if you want and now I was talking to somebody here uh, a couple of days ago and I asked him what interested him or asked them I should say because it was, uh, couple what interests them about this vehicle and they said uh, first of all likes the chrome on the outside so I'll show you that on the way out likes the lighting and likes this setup uh, with the two beds so that was going to be my question why do you want to have the two beds when it's actually they were both uh, shorter than I am so I thought well I mean you'd fit lengthwise or widthwise I should say so why not uh, Sorry, I had some difficulty getting that open. So why not uh, just make do with uh, a shorter van? But, oh no, he said that they might disturb each other uh, as they were getting out of bed. So that's why they want uh, something like this. Right, it's also got this huge fridge, which for him was uh, an important issue. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know what I think of that. Uh, and actually a rather positive thing is this really big wet room in here so I shall come in I shall I'll take I'm going to close the door behind me so I'm not going to take my clothes off but you can see how much room there is actually considering it's uh, two meters across on the outside then that's not that's not too bad at all Right, so the kitchen has got a pull-out pantry. Oh, it won't come out. What's happened? It's the central locking. That comes out. And that's like that. And okay. So there's your sink, it goes straight down. So I think that's a good idea for saving space. Instead of being like a bowl shape. Yeah, you've got access to your uh, your hobs. And uh, two hobs. Well, if you want three, you won't get them in a camper van. Uh, I think that looks quite good actually, particularly with this uh, cover like that. I mean, 
You might think that's not practical, but I think that's quite practical. I think that's very good. Notice all of this indirect lighting. Oh, and I'll put this back. There you go, that's now locked. There you see. It's locked. And uh, I think that's uh, that's pretty good. And the table's quite large as well. Also got this very nice... Oh, that was another thing you liked about it. Sorry, the... Uh, the, the light up here, the skylight. Seeing as I'm indoors and not out, I shall show you this. That will keep the insects out, I hope. Until they will get in anyway, but uh, there'll be few of them again in with that. And note another feature here. We can open this window. Not many camper vans have that. An openable window in the door. Net, I'm really into nets. And uh, I'll show you this as well. Oh, this is going to be difficult to demonstrate. Right, this is that's a ki kitchen extension. Right, bang. So now it won't go back like that. What you got to do? Well, you need two hands to do this, really, I think. There's a. a there's a catch under here. You see, just that moves that up like that. And that one was. I can't do I can't close it now because I really need two hands to do it. And one hand is on the camera. But uh, I think you get the general picture. I'll close that when I come back. But you won't see me doing it for the reason I've just said. Oh, you got another big thing up here as well. So you can uh, yeah, get more light in. Should you so desire. You can have this on an automatic gearbox. That's going to get in for 3,000 more euros. And uh, should you want that. Getting on for it's not quite 3,000. Take it on the back. Oh, see, you can make an extra bed after all. So it, is, it isn't three in the back. Good. So we've got under here, you've got your storage down there. And here's your gas cabinet. So you can keep your gas bottles in there. Two, two, space for two. Lashing straps down here, should they? And you, as you can see from here, you've got that central board which will come out, and the beds at both sides will move up. Should you want to put something down here, for example, I don't know, bicycles or something, uh, although it might be a bit difficult to sleep when the bicycle's in there, but you can actually do that. Ah, oh, something I mentioned the wardrobe. There it is. Looks a bit dark today because of the the weather. So that's the D sixty eight Dreamer. Now the Dreamer vans they come on three. Uh, it's coming three lengths, obviously, which coincides with those of the Fiat Ducato. So this is the longest six thirty six. There's then the five ninety nine, and you can get five forty as well. And they come in other layouts, such as the bed in a width-wise direction, or bunks. Uh, there's a version with a lounge in the back. Uh, there's a version with an electric bed that goes up and down to give a huge amount of space in the garage. And there's probably other ones as well on the Fiat Ducato. 
but I can't think uh, what they are at the present moment of time. And they also do a couple of smaller ones as well, which are really sort of cars. And uh, anyway, you can see that Cap London, um, Cap, uh, Cap, Cap Coast. Indeed, there's a Cap uh, Lond here. So you know, see on the Ford basis. Anyway, see that in a different video, not in this one. Right, so uh, thanks very much for watching. This is me in uh, Germany signing out for this video. And all the best from Lunen.